Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to draw a traverse roll in AutoCAD Inventor. Let me warn you, I am just new into AutoCAD Inventor. It just had to be, uh, I was working on AutoCAD for two weeks so that I don't have much experience. Then I begin to draw and you'll understand that I am making some major mistakes. But eventually I am going to get this uh, drawing. Initially, it seems to me this was beyond my skill level, but uh, watching a couple of YouTube videos about AutoCAD Inventor give me some ideas and I uh, play with it and I end up, I end up uh, getting this image. Now I am going to show you how can you draw the same thing by using AutoCAD Inventor. Next, we are going to, uh, first we are going to create a new part. Uh, I am using uh, metric system and using millimeter. And, uh, let's say create. Now, uh, first thing that we are going to do, uh, let's make this uh, origin visible. We are going to create two sketches. One for the grooves, the other one the, for the body. Let's start with a difficult one, which is the grooves uh, sketch. Uh, I say create new sketch. Uh, it will be in this face. Now, first we are going to draw an arbitrary rectangle somewhere around here. Dimensions and location is not important. Uh, say OK. Now, since uh, we draw this rectangle, now let's. Uh, uh, fix its location with respect to axis. Okay, uh, we are going to use dimension constraints from this point to that point. It will be 25 millimeters, and from this point to that point, it will be uh, 18 millimeters let's adjust the location again that's good now let's set the size of this uh, rectangle this distance will be uh, six millimeter and this will be eight millimeter size is set since all groove will be in V shape we have to convert this rectangular to a V shape. Let's uh, do this by using a line operator from this point. There, we are going to draw the line. Another one from here to there. We are going to draw. Let's say OK. Now let's remove this. Uh, delete. Delete. Okay. Now, by using trim tool, uh, we are going to get excess unwanted lines from our image or sketch. Now, most of them is almost gone. Okay. Now uh, we have to also uh, set distances by using the dimension constraint from here to there which will be two millimeters and similarly from here to there it will be two millimeters okay we finish our uh, uh, dimensions and let's delete this one this one. We uh, finish our first uh, sketch for groove. We said we uh, finished the 2D sketch. Now we are going to create another sketch for body. Create 2D sketch. It will be in this surface and it's going to be a circle located at the center. We locate it. We put it in the center. This distance will be. I'm sorry. 
just a minute. Just a minute. Is highlighting the okay. This will be thirty six. Okay, now we finish that one as a finished. To the sketch, I adjust everything. Sketch is finished. Groove is ready. Now let's do extrusion of the body. Extrude. Did I say that? Okay. Uh, extrude this one and the opposite direction and this will be 32 millimeter long and let's go to this face so adjust this face now as you see the half of the groove is extending outward I did this one deliberately so that we know where the groove's location is if I did the exact size it will be inside this cylindrical object and I, it would be hard to locate it now, by using coil operator, we can make cut on this cylinder. Let's do the use coil operator. As you see, it highlighted our groove uh, cut location. Since we are going to use cut, we are going to select cut operation. For axis, we are going to use Y axis and pitch of coil will be 25 and okay everything is ready now we can say the cut we made the cut now we are going to make it uh, this is like double helix the other one is going in other direction we have to do that cut too but to do that we re it required we should have another sketch therefore I am going to say uh, Come here, uh, create another sketch, create to this, create to this sketch, highlight this one, and say finish the sketch. Now we have a uh, groove profile sketch for second groove. Now we use coil operator, everything is same, uh, everything is same except that it will be in opposite direction in the axis the same now is this opposite or that I don't know we'll do a try let's first try this uh, this one okay I hope it will work if it not we'll go the other one uh oh we forgot some major thing go back say uh, coil operation we use cut axis will be Y and this will be that hopefully it wasn't that cancel we are going to select again this one uh, I'm sorry, coil operator uh, axis will be Y and it will be cut operation okay now we finished the second cut uh, but this is a half of the uh, traverse roll we have to do the other half by using mirror here is the mirror operator we are going to do this uh, select that this one uh, 
uh, mirror face. I don't know why it's doing this one sometimes. Mirror plane. Okay. Now we finish the part. Uh, let's rotate it and bring it to center. By using fillet operator, we can give curvature to these corners. Let's make it uh, default values, this one and that one. Say OK. Now we are going to change the color to gold, which is a color that I like. Gold. Uh, let's say, let's to, here is the Now let's rotate it. As you can see, it grows. If you put uh, some uh, cam uh, uh, pin in here, begin to rotate, cam will go this way and it will turn back, come to that way. That's how a trellis roller works. And if you have a, a fission reel, when you look at, at the bottom of some fission reel, you can see this cam mechanism, which is has in here we have two uh, coils but in actual fishing uh, reel there's almost 20 or 30 uh, pitches okay uh, thank you for watching if you like this uh, video please uh, give it a thumb up and subscribe my channel thank you watching